Today we're off-roading old school. We've got our OBS 7.3 Power Stroke Ford F250, and we're here at the Ironclads Trail in Colorado. So let's see how our OBS Ford does off-road. Now our old F250 is running these BFG KO2s, which is good because this is a more aggressive tire than this would have come with from the factory. So that'll be helpful out here on the trail today. And this being a four-wheel drive F250, it has Ford's interesting and old school twin traction beam front end. So it's a little bit of a weird configuration here. The other thing about this truck is that it's leaf springs in all four corners. And it's of course an HD truck. So it rides pretty stiff out here on the trail. And this being extended cab long bed, this truck is like a limousine. We'll see how it does when it comes to breakover angle. Now, before we get going here on the trail, we'll go ahead and make sure that the hubs are locked. Now, another thing about this truck is it does have a manual transmission and this transmission has a granny gear. So as long as the obstacles that we're going up don't require us to go so slow that granny gear isn't quite slow enough, then I shouldn't have to slip the clutch a whole lot. But I will say it's always a little bit of a clunkier process off-roading a manual that's one of those situations where having an automatic just makes things a little bit simpler all right first obstacle here is the steps i'm sure you guys know this trail you've seen it a bunch but uh, most of the time i'm not too worried about the steps this time we've got a really long truck with a really bad breakover angle so let's see what happens you do gotta love the way these old diesels sound that idle is nice. It's got a good growl to it. Here's one of the first things that you notice anytime you take really any HD truck off road, but especially a classic diesel truck like this, is that these HD trucks, you know, they're built to carry loads. That's what the suspension is designed to do. And so from the driver's seat here, it's not a comfortable ride, no matter what way you crack it. And even when you put aftermarket suspensions that sacrifice a little bit of hauling capability for some more travel and uh, suspension that's a bit more comfortable off-road, even then, it's, it's not the most comfortable ride. That's just not what these trucks are really intended to do. So it's never gonna ride super smooth here, but what we do have is a decent set of tires and a fair bit of clearance. I'm gonna be interested to see how we fare when it comes to a uh, breakover angle, but so far on these ledges at the beginning of the trail, no problem whatsoever. No problem in terms of traction, gearing, or angles. But let's see if we can fit up the razor rocks i'll be kind of surprised and i really don't want to break andre's truck here you know i was a little worried about breakover because this is one of the longest trucks we've taken up total here, limousine yeah yeah this is a, a big tall truck too on pretty big tires so got a little close on the first step but didn't really care question is do we have the angles to do the razor rocks here and i'm gonna have you spot me as i nose up to it you let me know, but even I feel like if we're able to walk the front end up on it, I'm not sure that we're gonna be able to, to get over it in the middle. The other thing about this truck is that uh, I'm told it's got a limited slip rear differential, um, but of course we don't have any lockers here. So between traction and angles, I'm not sure we can do the Razor Rocks, but we're here, we gotta try it. Yeah, we gotta try it. And also, even if you do have the clearance, I mean, Usually you're teeter-tottering, even in an automatic, and you're playing with a clutch here. So yeah, it's gonna we'll take see. Some skill. We'll see how it is. Yeah. Well, yeah. See that I don't really like. <laughs> yeah, I'm not loving that. What I can do is back up here and go closer to the tree, which I think that should tip us less, but I really don't want to run into the tree and we've seen people do exactly that. All right, let's 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 take a different approach here. Oh. Ugh. See, that's the thing about 
doing this with a manual truck is that I have to be slipping the clutch here because I got to go really slow. Oh, I don't know. That feels hard on the powertrain. I'm faced with a couple options here. I could go into it with some more momentum, but this, this feature in particular, it tips you toward that tree. If you come at it with a lot of momentum, you really have the potential to get pitched into that tree and crunch a body panel, which, you know, this video, this video is gonna make 30 bucks. It's not worth crunching the bedside for that. You know, my thought is, could this truck do it? Probably, but you know, it would take a lot of momentum and yeah, you might do some damage. And this is an old yeah. classic truck that's in and, really good shape. And, and trying uh, to do it slow even, I mean, it, it just feels like we're putting a lot of strain on the powertrain. And I know these are tough trucks mechanically. Uh, I think I might, I might give it one more slow crawl up there. I'm not going to carry speed into it for all the reasons that we just talked about, but uh, if it doesn't do it on this next attempt, then I, I say we go around. There's still plenty of other obstacles on this trail. Um, and at the end of the day, this is the only vehicle we have here. We don't have a recovery rig with us because it's just Alex and I. Ah, it just, it doesn't want to do it. Now, <laughs> it's not worth the phone call to Roman. No, I appreciate you wanting to try, but... <laughs> Even if we got up, it wouldn't really prove anything. I mean, what we're trying to prove is that this old diesel truck can take you out on some trails. We're not trying to prove it's the best rock crawl in the world. Yeah. If you want to get over Razor Rocks, go buy an actual <laughs> rock crawler. Yeah, exactly. I wish you could tell how hard and gnarly this obstacle really is. We're standing here at the bottom of it right now. And I know it's hard to tell, but I mean, it's up to my shoulders. Get the camera nice and level. This is a really hard obstacle, and it's hard to portray that. You know, I, w I was just saying that uh, you came up here in your Cummins on 37s, and all the Jeep guys that run this trail on the weekends, they told you, don't, don't yeah. do that. Yeah, a and you got truck will do it. Yeah, yeah you, you got your truck up it, because, uh, yeah, it's on 37s. You got boatloads of clearance. But it, it was just funny that the, the guys who run this trail all the time, they were telling you, even in your truck on 37s, they were saying, you're crazy, don't do that. Yeah, that, that feature is no joke, but we still got a ledge coming up here and we've got truth or dare, we've got the sawtooth. Still a lot more features for us to try out. Now I do love how slowly Granny Gear and 4 Low crawls in this truck. It means that for realistically anything that you're actually gonna want to tackle in this truck, you really don't have to slip the clutch a whole lot because the truck is pretty capable of crawling really slow with the clutch out. So for this whole obstacle, I've been clutch out, haven't had to slip it whatsoever, just able to crawl slow through that like a tank, which is pretty good. You know what I just noticed that's kind of funny? Huh is uh, the bed articulates with the truck way more than any modern truck we film. Yeah, I mean, this is an older chassis. It's not as rigid as, as more modern chassis, and it's a long truck. So from front to back, you're gonna get some amount of, of flex in that frame, and you'll be able to see it for <laughs> sure. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> now we're approaching truth or dare, and this is the type of thing that, um, I mean, really, in terms of capability, this truck doesn't struggle with this at all. Uh, but the suspension, kind of like we were talking about, definitely struggles a little bit to keep up with all these bumps. So you're mostly just limited in how fast you can go by your comfort, you know? It, it just depends on how much you want to get bounced around. Uh, now, I am going to try to pull this up onto this rock feature here and yeah pretty much no problem at all getting up and over that which is impressive because we brought an 80 series land cruiser here recently driven by nathan who was not taking it easy on that land cruiser 
and the Land Cruiser could not get up and over that rock, but we've got enough articulation here to keep wheels on the ground and, uh, and keep us going uphill. And now I'm on the dare side of truth or dare because for the most part, this truck has been doing really well here on the trail, so there's no reason not to challenge it a little bit further. It can definitely handle what we're throwing at it right now. This is not a problem at all. I mean, I will say that for this truck. Uh, articulation seems pretty decent, especially considering that we're on factory suspension here. But nonetheless, uh, we cruised right up there. Typically, there is not a problem for a, a capable off-roader. And yeah, it was not a problem here in the 7.3 Power Stroke. Our next obstacle is uh, Salty, which Salty. this is gonna do terrible on. It's the new one. Yeah, it's the new one. It's, Andre doesn't like it, but... Uh, <laughs> Andre doesn't like sawtooth obstacle because he's a truck guy and trucks tend to have longer wheelbases, so they don't do very well on the sawtooth feature. He thinks it's dumb. Uh, I think it's a good feature, but that's gonna be what we do next. And yeah, this truck being a limo, it's gonna struggle. I do like this power stroke a lot. I have a 12 valve Cummins, which is kind of, um, kind of this truck's main opponent and uh, I love my truck too, but I can really see the appeal with these 7.3 Power Strokes. These are just good, solid powertrains in these trucks. Plus this OBS Ford is just a cool looking vehicle. The boxy body on it has stood up to the test of time. It, it still looks good to this day. It still looks macho, as Mr. Truck would say, and that's something, something that these do really well. Good thing these seats are soft like lazy boys because man, just get bounced. Half of your suspension is in the seat. So what we do here on the soft tube is we see how far left we can go until we uh, bottom out on the frame because basically the further left you are, the more difficult it is. And uh, last I came here was in my Land Rover. My Land Rover did really well. Um, but yeah, pickup trucks, longer wheelbase, tend to struggle. All right, let's see it. My expectations are, you know, pretty limited. I don't want to scrape the step off. We're getting close. Real close. And touching. Yeah. <laughs> you go forward. Nope, you're on it. Yeah, so I mean, I'm put off the brake right now, basically. The frame is my parking brake. You're not on the frame, you're on the skid. Oh, okay. That's good. Fuel, fuel tank skid? Transfer case skid. Oh, okay. Well, it's a good thing it has skids. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is a pretty conservative line to take on this obstacle, uh, but we're framed out. Again, not surprising because this truck is long, so I'm going to back up, go a little further right, and uh, see how far over we have to go. I'll slow down, slip the clutch a little here as we start to uh, press. Should add that. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right, well, we got over it. You were on a skid that first time, so you could have just slid over it if you wanted yeah, to. Yeah, I could have dragged it, but uh, at that point, you're not really proven a ton. Um, either way, I mean, even where we were at along this obstacle when we were touching the skid uh, was not a super aggressive line. We weren't gonna set any records here. It's a long truck. Uh, it's a long truck. The breakover angle isn't the greatest, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it is good that it has those skids because that means if I really wanted to, I could just drag it over the top of the rock and in theory, it should be fine. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they're not the thickest, most substantial skids in the world, but they're skids nonetheless. You know, one thing we keep talking about a lot of times when we off-road, especially in the EVs, 
is how quiet it is and it's awesome because the animals stay around and you can see wildlife. Yeah. It's not quiet today. No, you're not getting any of that with this. I can hear you from so far away when you were back there turning around. Yeah. It's so, so loud. Sounds good though. Yeah, it sounds good. Now the best thing about off-roading in a manual is the fact that you can just leave it in gear like I am right now. I'm feet off the pedals. Man, you don't need hill descent control or any of that fancy tech when you have a manual transmission coming downhill because, yeah, you just get locked into gear and all that engine braking keeps you going nice and slow, don't have to ride the brakes. So that aspect of off-roading with a manual, I will admit, I do like a lot. It's just some of those more aggressive obstacles like what we were seeing on the Razor Rocks where you do kind of have to slip the clutch after a while of attempting those kind of things, you start to feel a little bad. But uh, yeah, right now, pretty happy about uh, the manual. Let's see. <laughs> the other thing about off-roading a truck like this is it's big, man. It's wide and it's long. And so you have to be extra conscious of the line you're taking down anything and it's heavy. Oh my God. So yeah, it takes some force sometimes to slow it down too um yeah look they're not it's not built to be an off-roader these trucks as we very well know and and you guys out there watching this video very well know these trucks are made to haul heavy loads so we're putting it through something that it wasn't really built to do impressive that it can still do it as well as it does but really if you want to go run trails all the time get a jeep that's what they're made for. So all in all, the 7.3 Power Stroke lives up to its great reputation. It is a rugged, durable truck that can get to some pretty remote places over some fairly large rock obstacles. You know, I mean, there's obviously limitations to it. Part of that comes down to just how much you're willing to beat up on this truck. But if you're freely willing to push it hard and you don't care about crunching the body, then there's a lot that you could do with one of these trucks. The body on ours is so straight and it's such a well-maintained truck that it would be hard for us to wrap our heads around being quite that unkind to it. But even though they're not designed to be rock crawlers, they can still get out there and wheel a little bit. Now, we're gonna do a lot more videos on this, including a video that we have planned soon where we will be drag racing this truck against my 12 valve Cummins. So keep an eye out for that video. And as always, you can see everything else that we do at alltfl.com. We'll catch you all in the next video.